Hey everybody, Brad Greenfield here, and today we're going to talk about adding a Qualtrics survey that we've already created uh, to our county websites, or our SharePoint county uh, sites, or SharePoint public sites, I guess maybe the proper way to, to say that. So I'm uh, not going to cover creating the actual survey, but just how to add that survey to your uh, website. So uh, I've, I've already logged into our University of Tennessee Qualtrics uh, um, account. Uh, everybody has a Qualtrics account. Uh, all you have to do is go through the UT login and, and you can access the account. And I've already created a survey and the survey that I'm going to use here is titled Ice Cream Survey. So uh, to begin embedding this thing into our county websites the first thing I'll do again with a survey already created I'm gonna go into distribute survey and once that loads then I can uh, select what's already highlighted here the end page pop-up now when you first come to this page you may find that the survey link uh, tab is actually highlighted uh, so if that's the case then you would just click on the end page pop-up and a couple changes we're gonna make here uh, please take a moment to participate in our survey you know you could add any kind of text that you want there and you'll see what that looks like here in just a moment when I get this added uh, also the uh, link text you can add anything you know click here or, or click to take survey whatever you wanted to add there if I click on more options and again a lot of this won't really make much sense to you until uh, we actually have the survey loaded onto our site um, but you can adjust the speed in which that uh, that is going to display for you or that screen is going to uh, display for you and I can do a preview pop-up down here in the bottom right hand side if I click that then we'll see what that looks like so when we get this loaded onto our county websites uh, we'll actually see uh, that little pop-up kind of scroll over and then the user has the ability to select that link and go in and take our survey without ever having to leave our page uh, so we can change that pop-up size and uh, the direction in which it kind of comes in if we want to I'm gonna leave everything set by default you guys are free to to change that play with it and find what suits your needs most but when we're ready to go ready to add this to our site uh, we will click on add pop-up to my website when I do that I've get I get some HTML code here uh, so really don't need to understand what's going on with all of this uh, only thing I need to do is just click in it to select it and do a right click and select copy now, the next thing I'm gonna do is open up a notepad uh, let me drag this over here so this is just a standard uh, notepad that we have on all of our computers if you don't see it you can go to your uh, on the Windows 8 start screen and just type in notepad or if you're on Windows 10 uh, or Windows 7 you can go in, into the start button and just start searching for notepad and you should be able to find it uh, so when we have our notepad open I'm just gonna right click and paste that code snippet that I just got from the Qualtrics site in here and just do a quick save so file save as and it doesn't really matter where you save it I'm gonna save it in this folder that I've been working in this morning and I'm gonna name it uh, ice cream survey and leave that dot txt just the way that it is and click save okay so when we have that text file save we don't really need this anymore unless we wanted to change something uh, in the uh, actual Qualtrics uh, you know the way that the window pops in or something like that but other than that we won't really need that text document anymore now, the next thing I'm gonna do is go to my uh, county team site I'm just gonna close these tabs out here and go into the I'm gonna use the central region website is my test and I'm gonna add this to our 4-H page and I'm gonna come in here and delete this after this video We're just doing this for testing purposes make sure you're signed in so I'll go to site actions and then view all site content and then I am gonna click into the scripts tab now it really doesn't matter where you save this file but uh, typically any uh, scripts that we have altering uh, things in our uh, county public sites is going to be here in this script uh, folder so if you're not comfortable going in here you can add this anywhere you just need to know where you added it um, but everybody has a scripts folder it's just a good place to put it so I'll click on add document 
and then I'll click choose file and I'm already inside the place where I saved this but you would just navigate to wherever you saved that .txt file that we just created uh, and mine is right there ice cream survey so I'll click that and click open and click OK alright one last step I'm just gonna click on that ice cream survey and I'm here in Google Chrome so when I click that text file that I just added I actually see the contents of the file if I was in let me just go into let me go back a step here and copy this link and I'm gonna open up Internet Explorer just to show you what you may see there in Internet Explorer if you went in that way hit enter I may have to sign in okay so if I click that ice cream survey here in Internet Explorer it's not going to show me anything now it's going to it's going to actually perform the task that's in that text file uh, which is okay that may be something you're interested in seeing um, but either way whether you're in Internet Explorer or you're in Google Chrome we're going to copy this URL up here so I'm just going to right click and copy that guy I'm going to go ahead and close my Internet Explorer window and just stay here in Chrome. Uh, so again, uh, Ice Cream Survey and copy the URL. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to throw this here in on the 4-H page. So here on the 4-H page, you'd put this wherever you wanted the survey to prompt people. And I'm going to do Site Actions and Edit Page. And then I'm going to stick it down here in the bottom. Uh, just again, I'm going to come back in here and delete this after I get this done. But I'm going to insert a web part. And I'm going to select Media and Content. And then Content Editor web part is selected by default. And I'll click Add. And once my uh, Content Editor web part is added down here, I will come to this little drop down. Click that. Click Edit web part and then in the content link that's where I'm gonna paste that link that I just copied uh, of that text file that that we uploaded so I'll just right click here paste it's in there I'm gonna adjust the appearance here to where there's no header on this content web part because I don't really need it uh, there's not actually gonna be anything that's gonna show up here in this uh, content editor web part uh, it's really just gonna hold that place so that the script can run to offer our pop-up and when I click OK and we may actually see the pop-up show up here and we do so I'll just close out of that and when I'm ready to go I can just publish this and now every time the page loads we're gonna get this pop-in or this fly-in box here if I click here then we'll see the survey load and then the user is free to take that so the good thing about this is it does load it's kind of an attractive box the way that it kind of flies in there uh, the bad thing is it's gonna load this or send this little pop-in window every time the page loads so I would definitely encourage you to get your surveys there and then only leave them there for a certain amount of time because things these boxes and stuff you know just imagine if a user comes and takes a survey and then every time they come back to your website uh, they're having to retake this survey that could be a, a very frustrating thing uh, so I would only want to leave this survey live in this capacity uh, for a small amount of time uh, so that does it if you guys have any questions just let me know be glad to help uh, hope you enjoyed.